Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Paul V. Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Hellenica. It is by The Dragon Loft, and it is another new release. It drops today, actually, January 23rd, 2017. And this is one I've been excited about for quite a while. I've actually talked it up a bit and posted on Twitter that I'll be doing coverage of it. So you'll see quite a few episodes of this over the next few days because I likes it. And it is kind of a throwback. While it still has its own different feel, different... A lot of differences. A lot of differences. But it's kind of a throwback to Final Fantasy Tactics and that type of game. But again, it's, it's different. And it also is more puzzle-based, I guess you could say. Like... Okay, you can do, you know, you have this fight, but there's like 12 different ways you can do it. Do you want to knock a boulder off of a cliff to crush a guy? Do you want to smack somebody down and hit all of his compatriots? Or do you want to stand on like a lift and attack this guy, and then when the turn ends, the lift goes up, he can't attack you back? There's lots of different interactable things with this game that's actually going to bring it to the forefront as phenomenal, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I'm pretty excited by it, guys and gals. And one more disclaimer, there's a lot of Greek names, words, phrases, and things of that nature. I'm probably going to butcher most of it, so just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. So, let's begin, shall we? Let us begin a new game. Now, I played around a little bit, so I have a rough idea how the game works. But we'll see. The Age of Steam has not brought peace. The great gears of industry have reforged the Greek city-states. But they have not changed their nature. See, it doesn't work. This is actually not... This is a female voice, so it doesn't work. And in the east, there arises a brooding anger that threatens the foundations of Olympus itself. Alright. Zeus is blind to this threat, for it is a relic of a primal age when savage men bleated fervent prayers to gods unnamed. And so I chose you, Diona, my brave Arctos, to be my weapon in vanquishing this threat. Whatever power this malevolence wields, you'll meet it as my champion, the champion of Artemis, the divine huntress and goddess of the wilds. Your success hinges on these three. A ray of light. A brass eagle. A wandering flame. Trust in them, and they will prove faithful companions. Now gather your strength, my Arctos, and travel to... Adventures! Wait, what? What? I was saying, I bet you have all kinds of exciting adventures. You probably fight brigands and pirates. Have you ever seen a centaur? Ooh, or, or how about the Amazons? I bet they, um... Could you please leave me alone? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. I've just never met a woman like you, free to wander Greece without caring what people think of you or the way you dress. Do you have a problem with the way, or with what I'm wearing? N n no, the, the bear skin looks very becoming on you. Is it like a uniform, or do you just enjoy the fur? It marks me as a servant to Artemis. And, by the way, guys and gals, you can click on this, and it brings up other stuff. So a little uh, extra bonus information, tips and hints, and just good stuff. Good stuff. So the Huntress, Goddess of the Wilds. And if you guys are into Greek mythology and all of that wonderful fun stuff, you would know that Artemis is actually one of the Greek gods. So there you go. And well, basically she's the god of the hunt, right? Or the goddess of the hunt. So there you have it. The goddess of the hunt! See? See? what I, what I say? Bam! Nailed it! Well, I serve Apollo, but it's not nearly as exciting as... I, I mean, mostly just fix the different Steam devices we have in the temple. Sorry, guys, I actually wanted to click on Apollo. My bad. I thought Apollo was... I thought that was a Roman god. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll see. That doesn't sound like an unpleasant life. Sure, messing with machines is fun and all. It's just... I want to see the world, to witness the fabled dock elevators of Rhodes, to enter the mechanical sanctum of the Oracle at Delphi. There's so much out there that... Alright, let's see what Rhodes is. 
An island city surrounded by a great wall and elevated harbor, ruled by the me mechanist, sure, the mechanist king or mechanist king, Eva Goris. And then Delphi, the site of a revered oracle. So leave. What? If you want to see the world, go. There are no chains around your neck. No, I'll never be able to wander the world like you do. Don't make excuses. If you want to travel as I do, no one's stopping you from walking my path. Hmm. Alright. No excuses, I'll go get my things. My name's Nephili, by the way, and well, thanks. You're welcome. Wait, wait. For what? G get your things. Oh dear. She's a strange one, but I have more important concerns. Maybe someone in Athens can help me make sense of this vision. The intellectual and political center of Greece maintains an empire through its fleet of steamships. Alright. So we wander off into the woods while she goes to get her things. I'll take the package the rest of the way. Break these lifts down and clear out. If anyone sees you, make sure it's the last thing they see. You got it, boss. Alright, cool. Or terrifying. Who goes there? A traveler who wishes to be left alone. Alone is a dangerous way to travel, little missy. There may be unscrupulous men about. For a, a small fee, my friends and I can guarantee you a safe passage. I'll find my own path. Hey, where'd she go? Find her, she can't have gone far. Aren't we sneaky? I couldn't catch a goat, let alone an Arctos. A champion of the goddess of the wilds, Artemis. Some people think they're just legends, but we know better. I knew I should have avoided the main road. Though it's odd to find bandits so close to Athens. Where do you know that's the political capital and intellectual capital of Greece? Alright. Diona! Where are you? Wait for me! That's the girl, men. We'll make a pay for running. Ah. By Zeus. Well, this is a fine start to my quest. Artemis, grant me all strength. We already know about Artemis. Good old Artie. Alright, so we must defeat all the bandits, finish one enemy with fall damage, and then there's a third secret locked thing that we do not know what it is. And we'll gain bonus experience, I guess, based off of that. We can view the map if we want before the start of the battle. We can click and drag around, and we'll get to see what's going on. And then when we're done with that, we can begin. All right, let's start, I guess. Repair. We have turned into a bear. Okay, so we get a move with each of our individuals. Alright, so we're going to click on Nephili first, and we'll take a look here. Defend. Take up a defensive stance, reducing damage from all sources by half. We have Steam Shot. Fire a steam-powered bolt at the enemy. We have Portable Boiler. Nephili's boiler generates uh, and stores steam pressure to power her abilities. The boiler will generate one steam per turn. And then we can depressurize, which will... Evacuate Nephili's boiler, pushing adjacent characters based on stored steam count. Costs one steam minimum, and it spends all the steam. So that's kind of like a knockback for our archer friend. I don't know that using her right now is the best play. So we're going to go take a look around here. Um, I think the best thing we can do right now, we'll move her over, Diona. And she's got Defend as well and Maul. Strike a character and push them three spaces. Allies aren't damaged by this ability. So you could actually technically knock one of your allies out of harm's way, which is cool. And Bear Form. Diona has transformed into a bear. Bear Form grants bonus movement, range, health, and combat abilities. And it lasts for three turns. So we're going to go ahead and Maul this guy. And it is going to knock him down there. 
which theoretically should knock him on his butt. We are flanking him, so we get a bonus there. We have uh, physical versus light, so 16 damage, plus he's going to take fall damage for all the falls he does. So this could go well for us. Let's give it a shot. I think we click this arrow, and that's her turn now spent. And then we need to do something with our gal here, and I believe that something's going to be to move here. Then take a shot at this guy, and call it a day. Let's see. We'll end the turn. And we'll see how this plays. She jumps away. We go down all on all fours. We do bear form stuff. We knock him down. Boom. He's down and out. We've done our yob as it comes to B. We did a pretty good job there. And it looks like we have folks closing in on us. We just got smacked. She got smacked, but I think we're still okay. Alright, at this point what we're going to do is probably slap this guy. That's fine. We'll be able to ride the lift back up on the next turn, I believe, is how that'll work. Let's we'll negate some more damage coming our way. And what I think we should also do is probably pop up here and take another shot on this guy. And hopefully that outranges any follow-up attacks. So we'll give it a shot. Leap up there. Smack him. Didn't do a tremendous amount of damage, but it bought us a little bit of space. That guy is now eliminated. And boom. I don't know if we have a, an advantage being on the high ground. I think maybe we do. So, that being said... I'm trying to think, what would be a good way to approach stuff? Could probably move here, maul this guy again, I'm assuming that would be a play. And it doesn't look like she can necessarily jump down that way. And I don't know if I want to send her into potential danger. She's actually got a, you know what, how about we undo that? She's got a fairly large range that she can shoot from up here. And unfortunately it looks like everybody's just outside of it at this point. Hmm. So where can we move with her that might still give us an advantage? Let's try moving there and see where our shot goes. We can, and since we are above we actually do get bonus damage. So we'll do 22 as opposed to the 30 of his health, but that's still pretty decent, I think. Let's go ahead and end our turn and see what happens. We go down with our bear and om nom up on the backside here. Bam, slap him. Take our shot. 29, almost enough to take him out. The enemy, I don't think the enemy is even 100% sure what they want to do at this point. Just got slapped with a that and now we're in human form which is well less good we'll say a little bit less good I'm gonna go here and we're gonna attack him I believe what we could do with her we can actually throw a heal we can stab and we're in human form uh, after she will transform into a bear again after two turns so she's all about weird timing things which is fine all right, let's go ahead and take this guy out, and let's give it a shot. We're going to definitely take some more damage after this, but it should be okay. That was not enough, so she's actually going to get beat down a little bit, I think. I think hindsight being what it is, I probably should have moved up here again and taken that shot at that guy and left her in a safe spot, but I didn't do that, so... Eh, medium bad bumpy is medium bad, I guess. Oops, that was not where I wanted to go. Hold on, hold on, back it up. Let's go back up here. Let's see if we can't take this guy out, and I'm 100% sure we will be able to. So we'll go ahead and we'll cement that into place, and then we should be able to stab this guy and take him down. He's only got a little bit of health. And bam! A leap, shoot, stab, and victory. Or slash, I guess it was a slash attack, technically. Alright, there we are. Complete the level without taking damage. Well, we definitely didn't do that. We got beat down a little bit, but that's okay. We learned a few things, and that's... Well, that's fine. I don't know if maybe we spent the time to actually heal up with her ability to heal. Maybe that could have given us the benefit. You know, ending the level with full health as opposed to, you know, I don't know if that would have been a thing. 
All right, we'll continue. We're not going to play it again right now. We may go back and do that later, but we'll see. Wow, that was exciting. I didn't realize the woods were so full of bandits. They were fools to attack in Arcos. Or sorry, in Arctos. Though usually I can just avoid them. So, are you a bear or a, a girl? Or some kind of hybrid bear-girl killing machine? I was born a girl like you, though Artemis has chosen me to be her priestess and champion. An Arctos? I thought they were just legends. I wish Apollo would give me abilities like that. All I get for being his priestess are occasional bits of mechanical inspiration, which are fun, but not as, well, you know, awesome. Apollo, the Greek god of sun, prophecy, healing, and music. Alright, well, if you say so. It could be. Your weapon served you well enough back there. Well, eventually. Hehe. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you as my partner. This adventuring business is more dangerous than I thought. I wouldn't want to do it alone. Yes, you... W wait. What gave you the impression we were traveling together? Well, you invited me to join you at your camp, remember? What? I didn't say you could follow me. Don't be silly, of course you did, and it's too late to take it back now. The head priestess threw, well, quite a fit when I told her I was leaving. I'm not even sure I should go back to that town for a while. Anyways, let's see what the bandits had on them. Wow, that's a full coin purse. Diana, this is... Oh boy, here we go, guys. Artaxerxes, the king of Persia. The tyrant king of Persia. And Persia is a powerful empire in the east that's tried to invade Greece in the past. Well, he's dead now. No, 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 not the bandit, on the coin. These are Persian silvers. Only traders would have these, and only a handful or so. Then it seems like these bandits are on Persia's payroll. No, it couldn't be. I thought Persia's empire was based on bribery and intimidation. Well, sort of, but they haven't really been interested in Greece since their invasion failed 50 years ago. At the Battle of Marathon, a united Greece drove back the Persian Empire. Maybe they're getting interested again. Could this be the threat Artemis was warning me about? We'll have to ask about it when we get to Athens. So, we are traveling together. This girl's no warrior. However, her knowledge of the civilized world might prove useful in Athens. You can travel with me to Athens. After that, I journey alone. Oh, don't be silly. I'm sure we'll end up being great friends. All right, there we have it, folks. Our very first start. Welcome, fair ladies, to Athens, the grandest city on Earth and my home. No city since the doomed Atlantis has done more to the to birth the Age of Steam, and to this day our zeal and industriousness stoke our furnaces and power our inventions. Age of Steam. Used to describe the modern era in which Greece has undergone an industrial revolution as a result of, oh boy, of ubiquitous steam-powered theomechanicae, mechanicae, things. Stuff, guys. I told you I'm going to butcher things. These are not words that you normally see. Huh. Neat. Anyway, moving right along. <clears throat> I am Plato, the scholar. If you have any questions about this grand city, please let me know. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go see what the story is right now. Nephili and I headed to Athens seeking new information on my vision and on the bandits that attacked us. And then apparently this is a battle that we can go back to at this point. And then it looks like there are branching story arcs that go... Not very far yet, but it looks like there are several days. And then who knows what that's all about. Well, some definitely some interesting stuff here. So, yeah, okay. Uh, let's go take a look at the skills. Artemis' Blessing is a skill that Diona has, apparently. And we can't change it to anything else because that's all we have. Okay, well. Let's see, do we have um, depressurize? Can we change that? We can't. She'll eventually get power shot, charge shot, 
Banding Barrel, okay, Sky Shot, and Shrapnel Bolt. But right now, we have zero points, so we can't unlock anything. And then, I guess it's the same thing with her. And is there a way to switch to bear form her? I don't... I assume there's gotta be, right? But for now, I imagine we're probably... Oh, down here. Empty bear form, so we don't actually have any of those. Alright, that's cool. So eventually we'll have skill points, we'll be able to use those. So we have multiple people to talk to. We have, uh... Alcabiades? Alcabiades? Something along those lines. Xenophon and Plato. Let's talk to Plato. What makes you think we need help finding our way around Athens? Well, judging by your peculiar dress, you're probably foreigners. Ha! From the land of bearskins and oil stains. Brr. Don't mind him, Athens is mostly a welcoming city. Though newcomers like yourselves are probably intimidated by how grand it is. So don't be shy about asking me any questions you have. Intimidated? <laughs> like a bear at a fox's den. I'm not here for your statues or steam engines. I come seeking wisdom and counsel. The wisest priests and philosophers of our age can be found on the top of that hill known as the Acropolis. Located on a hill, this distinct, or sorry, this district of Athens is home to the city's premier political and religious buildings. Cool. Alcibiades, Xenophon, and I would be there studying with uh, Socrates. No, I know it's Socrates, guys and gals. Uh, now, we're, were it not for all the Luddites rallying there. Alright, Alcibiades, a self-important student of Socrates from the powerful oh boy, Alcameonidae family. I'm sure I butchered that. I apologize, guys. We'll call him the Alchemies family. Uh, Xenophon, a student of Socrates who's obsessed with military history and technology. Of course, Socrates himself, an intellectual and political leader in Athens, Teaches philosophy to Alcibiades, Plato, sorry, Alcibiades, Plato, and Xenophon. And the Luddites. The plural of Luddite, a person opposed to technological progress of the Age of Steam. Luddites are known for their violent protests, smashing steam engines and mechanical looms. To Hades with the Luddites, maybe I can find someone there to help me make sense of Artemis' vision. Hades, the Greek underworld slash land of the dead. Also the name of the god that is ruling that realm. A new path is unlocked. To follow a new path, click the story button that will appear in the top left. Not yet. We're going to go look at these other folks first. Let's talk to Xenophon or Xenophon. You come from outside Athens, haven't you? Any news of the Spartan Civil War? The rebels haven't really made gains near Corinth, have they? Uh, a formerly prosperous port city that was destroyed by Poseidon. Well, that's interesting. Well, we wouldn't know. We came from just north of here. Drat. This is Xenophon. He's studied as much military history as all the generals in Athens combined. Hardly a feat when the only skill required to become an Athen Athenian general is popularity. Well, I guess you'd prefer the Spartan way of doing things? Laugh all you want, but there are reasons we've been undefeated for the past two centuries. They value honor, discipline, training, and a passionate desire to pretend the past half century has never happened. Look what happened when their king dragged them into the Age of Steam. Those Luddites got so upset that they started a civil war. It's not the only reason. He also freed their slaves. Almost 40 years after the rest of Greece... I will talk to him again. It looks like a her, but it's a him. Why are you so concerned about Sparta? I was under the impression that Athens preferred its neighbors weak, Sparta. A militaristic city-state currently torn about because... Torn about? Okay. Because of a rebellion by Luddite rebels. Maybe at other times, but King Artaxerxes is consolidating Persian power and building an army. Greece is torn apart by strife, but it was only by fighting together that we turned back the Persians at Marathon just 50 years ago. Uh, city of battle where 50 years ago the Greeks drove the Persian invaders from their shores. Mm. The coins were found on the bandits means... The coins we found on the bandits means Persia is interested in Greek affairs. 
and be good to have the Spartans to ward them off. Those brass heads aren't good for much besides scowling at foes anyway. I just don't understand how the Spartan rebels haven't been crushed, refusing to use steam technology against Sparta's steam auto kinotons? Sure. Should be suicide. The plural of auto kinoton. Sure. A steam powered war machine built by the inventor Anna Zagoras, or Zagoras, uh, for the Spartan army. Told you guys I'm going to butcher a lot of names. I apologize. That is suspicious. Perhaps I should head to Sparta. Wait, why would we go there? Xenophon is right. Spartan battles are decided by brute force, not clever tricks. Without the aid of battle... Th oh boy. Theo Mechanicae. Mechana... Mechanae? Mechanae. Theo Mechanae. The rebels should be like rabbits attacking a bear. The war shouldn't be lasting this long, and we've learned that Persians could be working with the bandits in the area. So perhaps they also have a hand in the Brassheads Civil War. A new path has been unlocked. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I butchered enough for one episode. We're going to break it off here. I'm excited. There's going to be more coming today, a little bit later on. But definitely something you should put on your radar. Definitely something you should check out. I really, really like this game. And I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I am now at the point where I have no idea what I'm doing. So I told you guys at the beginning of the episode, I played a little bit. This is literally as far as I got. And I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what's coming. So there's going to be a lot. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy. Anyway, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video. Don't forget, it does release today. You guys can go grab it. I don't know if there's going to be a release week sale. There usually is on Steam, but I'm not sure. But I'll have all the links down below so you guys can go check it out. And if you guys enjoyed, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We're shooting to get 8K in, well, probably like two weeks. That's the goal. I'm going to start setting goals, guys and gals. We're shooting for 8K subscribers in two weeks. We'll see if we can reach that. That'll be great. If we do, there will be some sort of special thing that I do. I haven't figured out exactly what it is yet, but there will be an announcement video for that soon. But yeah, Hellenica, guys and gals, great game. Go check it out. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.